Sarah. So the best thing I would say for this kind of effect, well typically this would be taken kind of in camera with fractal filters which look a bit like this so you would hold them up to your camera and shoot through them kind of like a prism. Um, unfortunately obviously we don't have these. The best way I would say to kind of go around to try and get that uh, similar effect would be to download, what is it, PixArt app Pixar and obviously you can have this process in your book you do not have to have your artist research and then it has to be Lightroom or Photoshop it can be using the apps as well so don't think you've just got to stick with one or the other as long as you show your artist research then you go into your process so screenshot and as you go um, and then you can have your large scales after that as well so I'm going to show you what I've done with the first one so I've just taken that black and white picture obviously it's going to work so much better if you have a coloured one you're going to be able to get that effect so these are just screenshots that I have taken in PixArt so you can see that this um, tag here is artistic and then I've went to I think it's polygon if I then click on that little sliders come up and I can change how big um, I want the kind of polygons to be, how big I want the shapes to be, basically how distorted is it going to be and then how much does it fade in with my image so you can decide how abstract you want that to look. Then I had a little play about with distort where you can do chopped, you can swirl, uh, this one here I've went with fan again if you click on that you can change the kind of radius how kind of far out the fan is going so that's one thing I would recommend so you have those kind of screenshotted as they are then what you can do is you can show your process of layering these images so i'll show you that for an example so say i am going to take this one here now you can imagine with my image i have already had it cropped okay so i'm just going to do this very quickly just for an example so say i have my image it's nice and cropped i've got it the way i want it obviously before i then take it into photoshop what i'm then going to do is duplicate my layer so if i want to select all then edit copy and then edit paste or I can literally just drag my layer and I have a copy here and it sits typically right on top of the other. I'm then going to change my opacity. Now at the minute it doesn't look like it's doing anything because it's right on top of the other one. However if I drag it off to the side then you can obviously see it's getting that kind of distorted effect depending on how much you want to take down or um, bring up your opacity you can change that and then if you find like what I've got here you've got a harsh edge obviously where your photograph cuts off what I would recommend is going to the eraser or the rubber tool on the left hand side making sure that my layer is selected and I've brought down my flow so you can change the flow or the opacity and then I can just rub that out if I want it to be a little bit softer again I might take that down even more just to soften that up slightly. Um, again obviously within the app the more distorted and the bigger you have the shapes perhaps the more it will give you sorry, this kind of effect but again it's going to be trial and error think about how you want to layer them up how you want to position but I think at the minute that's your best way to go up until we are able to get something like these in school the nice kind of fractal filters. So I hope that helps, I hope that makes sense, but again make sure that you show your process from working in the app, so you're screenshotting that as you go and then obviously you can screenshot your process in Photoshop as well when you start to layer them up.